Breastfeeding is a birthright of every woman and her baby, but modern practice has complicated this beautiful process, and sadly, many women are forced to give up before they are ready. Statistics show that 96% of women intend to breastfeed unadmitted to the hospital, but by six months, only two out of 10 women are exclusively breastfeeding. Meet Dr. Robin Thompson, a midwife and nipple trauma expert with 50 years experience. After observing thousands of breastfeeding mothers experiencing painful nipple trauma on discharge from hospital, Dr. Robin decided that something had to change. Society fails to educate women on not only how important it is, but also how difficult. I had nipple trauma. That was before I even left the hospital. I was looking at a kind of formula on the side because I was ready to give up. I was one of those women who was in the hospital and had midwives coming at me from all different ways, shoving my baby on my breast. I was being told by hospitals and lactation consultants and midwives, um, do it this way and grab him by the back of the head and shove him on the breast. All I could think was there has to be a better way. In Introducing the Thompson Method, a gentle, evidence-based approach to breastfeeding embraced by women all over the world. Backed by research, the Thompson Method has already helped tens of thousands of women successfully breastfeed their babies pain-free. For me, if I didn't have the Thompson Method, I don't think I'd be exclusively breastfeeding at four months. I just couldn't believe how different it was to what I'd been shown in the hospital. It didn't hurt at all. I'm just happy to breastfeed, I love it. It's the best feeling I've ever had in my life. For the first time in weeks, Jacob came to the breast and he fed and I breastfed and it was, it was pain free. Dr. Robin's vision is for every woman to be empowered through education, preferably during pregnancy, so that she can be in control of her unique breastfeeding journey. Breastfeeding is a gift I don't think uh, anybody else would have been able to give to me except for Dr. Robin. Thank you, Dr. Robin.